Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite and in this video I will show you how to insert SD card into your tablet and how you can transfer the apps into your memory card. So let's start. So first of all you can see over here there is a power button and volume button okay. So on the opposite side not on the, this side on the opposite side you will see this SD card slot over here you can see over here this SD card slot okay so what you have to do is you use uh, this pin this pin come uh, with this tablet okay and uh, it, you can find it in the box so you just have to put it like this okay just inside like that okay so you can see over here and then simply you have to push it okay so I will just push it or I insert it like that so you can see the tray now comes out okay now what I will do I take out this pin and then simply I can take out the tray as well so you can see over here okay now what you have to do is you can see over here uh, it's written over here micro SD okay so this side you have to keep on top okay and this side the one uh, you have you can see over here there is a hole you have to keep it on your side okay so now what you can do is take out this uh, SD card okay so you can see over here it's written send is so I keep it like this on my side I can read it and now simply I can put it like that okay so now you can see I just put it like this okay so now what you can do is you can just insert it into your tablet so I will now start to insert it so you can see over here like that okay and now I will insert it okay so you can see like that and then simply I push it and then I push it like that so you can see now everything is done so what I will do now I will just turn on the tablet okay I will just uh, unlock it okay so you can see over here so once you uh, insert the SD card you will uh, see a notification over here it says SD card inserted okay so you can see and also you see a small icon over here SD card for the SD card so you can see this small icon for the SD card so it means the SD card is now inserted and it is working properly now let's move to the second part where I will show you how to transfer apps into your SD card so guys first of all you have to go into your settings okay so once you enter into the settings you have to scroll down on the left side okay and you will see an option of apps okay so here is the apps option just select it so once you select it here all your apps are available okay so whichever app you want to transfer to your SD card you have to select it for example I want to select this Zodo Docs app so I will open it like that okay and now what you have to do you have to scroll down okay and then you see there is an option of storage just select it so once you select it here you will see it's written here storage used internal shared storage and here you see a small icon it says change so just select it so once you select it here it will ask you to change storage location okay so here currently it is internal shared storage but I want uh, this app into my SD card I just select this SD card okay so now it will open a new window and here it will uh, give you some information and here it says move so just select this move button okay so once you select this move button you can see over here it start transferring the app into your SD card okay so now you can see it is 96% okay so once it's 100% uh, it will uh, become available into your SD card so I will show you and I will also open it for you after the transferring so now everything is done okay again I will open this Zodo Docs and here again I select this storage and here you see it says storage used external storage so it means this app is now in the SD card okay so now I will um, go back to home okay and I will open this app so app is here so I want to see if it is still working properly or it's not working so let's see so I will open the app so here you can see the app is now opening okay so I will open it so here you can see everything is working 
properly okay so for example i uh, want to open uh, some pdf file and i want to annotate it okay so here is the pdf file so i will try to use some tools okay so you can see the tool is working if i use this underline tool it is also working so everything is working perfectly fine okay now one more thing i will show you so for example i will remove the sd card and then i will see if this app will still work or it's not work so let's see okay so now i will take out this sd card okay so you can see over here i will take out the sd card okay so you will see so you can see over here i removed the sd card and now you can see the app is no more available okay it become like black and white and it says sd okay and if i try to open it i am not open i am i am not able to open it. it says app isn't available so it means the app is in the sd card okay now i will put the sd card back and then we will see what happened okay so now i put the sd card so let's see if this app uh, so you can see now it is uh, available and now if i try to open it it is opening and it is working properly guys one more thing i want to add over here that you cannot transfer all of the apps uh, to your sd card only a uh, some selective apps are able uh, to be transferred to sd card okay so for example i will open the settings again and if i open the apps okay so for example you see this calendar app okay so if i just select this storage option okay so you can see it is not giving you any option to change it into your memory card okay so only some selective apps you are able to transfer guys now i will show you where is your sd card located where you can access your sd card so you have to go into this my files folder so you see this folder over here just select it once you select it here on the left side if you just scroll down you will see sd card over here so if you select it here it will show you all the folders inside the sd card all the files are available over here now in the third part i will show you how to transfer the images videos or documents into your sd card okay so again go into my files okay and just select this sd card just scroll down and select this sd card okay so once you open it will be uh, like this all your folders are available here now you select these three dots and select create folder so you can create a new folder okay so i will just give it a name for example i will give it a name of same tube video okay so i just give this folder a name same tube video and then i select this create option so you can see a new folder has been created with this same tube video okay now if you want to transfer any image or any document what you can do is just scroll upside and here you have all your images documents videos you can see over here i go to images okay and for example i want to select this image i press and hold it like this and again i select one more file and this one okay so i select three different images okay so now on the bottom you see this option of move just select it okay so once you select it now what you can do is just scroll down from here on the left side select this sd card okay and here just select that folder that we just created so i will oh, here i will see this folder it was sam tube so it will be after s so here you can see sam tube video this folder i just select it now you can see you select this folder and here you see this option of move here i just select this move here option so now you can see these three files uh, now move into this sd card into this special folder so this is how you can transfer any video any image or any document so guys uh, this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much